Today, we walk from Saria to Puerto Marin. We saw cats, horses, farms, and your other typical Galician sites. Unlike our other days, there is more than a historic town at the end of the stage. Today, we are meeting up with family. Good morning. It is day 28 of our Camino de Santiago. We are leaving Saria at 6.30 in the morning. We've already had breakfast of a delicious almond cake and cafe con leche. We think it's definitely a day that's going to involve a second breakfast, but, uh, but we don't want to dilly dally because we have we have plans today. For the first time on the Camino in 28 days, this after, tonight we have plans. We're meeting up with family tonight. So, we think the walk today is about 22 kilometers yeah. to Puerto Marino. Cat count, 115. 116. Little kitty up there on the ledge. The cat count's taken a serious hit the last couple of days because of all the rain. But today, I can already tell we've seen two cats today already. It's gonna be a good one. Weather today, yeah, weather today, still gonna be chilly. Cloudy some, but we're not expecting rain. I'm wearing my rain gear because other than that, all I have is shorts and a super thin shirt. So I'm just wearing it for warmth. Molly, on the other hand, is just cold. We have not studied today's phase in any way, other than to know that it's about 22 kilometers and that there will be people waiting for us at the end of that. So. A Which one? The one that shadows like the Tin Man. Oh yeah, it sure does. Look at that. It looks like a lot of Don Quixote like statues we've seen. It's on the wall of that church right there. I think your description was better. Are we still on the Camino open. anyway? I have no idea. There's some people back there, but they're probably following us. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take a moment here. <laughs> it's our 28th day and we can't get out of town. We're lost. Well, can I just say that all of these yellow arrows for the rookies here have thrown off my yellow de arrow detector and I don't know where I'm going. Like, I don't, I don't know where we are. We're in like some park next to like an old monastery and there's no arrows. Anyway. Which pretty much usually means we missed a turn. Yeah. Yellow arrow on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Back on track. Peaceful out there. So we definitely notice an increase in folks today. Uh, more than half of all pilgrims walk just from Saria to Santiago. Seeing a lot of movies. I have no idea what the deal is with, like, Michael Jackson. Um, so some people have spray-painted Jesus along the route, the word Jesus. And while I don't condone the spray-painting of private property, it is a religious pilgrimage, so I sort of can let that slide. Why people keep spray-painting Michael Jackson, I have no idea. Next to Jesus. Right, yeah, sometimes it's next to Jesus. And... There may be something about Michael Jackson that I'm not aware of. I mean, he was a great musical artist and a nifty dancer, but he, I don't know what he has to do with the Camino. I'm pretty sure he never did it or anything. So I don't know what that's about. Look at these lovely walls. We could tell from the smell, we're definitely in an agricultural area. No problem, used to it. This today, can you believe it was supposed to rain today? No. Look at the weather. Well, they told me that I, well, as I say, I never know the, the weather before the day because I don't look at it. <laughs> we looked. I my raincoat, so it's rain. I put on my raincoat. Yeah. 108.7 to Santiago. So today we're gonna pass the 100 kilometer to Santiago mark, which is why so many people start in Saria. And I read that the single most graffitied item on the entire Camino 
is the marker for 100 kilometers. Why people feel the need to denigrate that, I do not know. We will pass 700 kilometers walked by us also today. Um, we have not decided what the 700 theme will be, but we'll have to decide the day. Yeah. Good morning. I see second breakfast. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lovely. Love it. We're having a little uh, second breakfast. We've gone 9.3. We just had our second breakfast. Really good. For the last 100 kilometers, and unofficially starting in Saria, uh, you're supposed to get two stamps a day. We've been getting about four stamps a day anyway. So, so we'll be covered. But we did get a stamp back there. And of course, we'll get one at our lodging. I'm using all these little bridges though, because I just like them. And they're fun till I fall off and get wet. I'm not using the little bridges because I like soft mud. Again, a lot of rain coming off these hills. It's rained a lot in the last couple of days. Three, 104.7. Sounds like a radio station. Look at these walls. You can tell cows don't come through on this piece of path because they would rub the moss off these walls. What an incredible day. I don't think it could be, the weather could not be any more perfect. Just had to stop because it's so beautiful here. Like when you first start the Camino, you're kind of a snob and you're like, oh, I don't want to walk on concrete. But after a while of walking on jagged rocks, like, oh, yeah, this, this is kind of nice. Cool looking bar here. But we're going to keep going. Buen camino. Gracias. Uh, uno. Oh, qué Gracias. Feliz camino, eh? Gracias. Feliz camino. Little trail magic there. Hmm. Yum. That was nice. He said we could take a handful, but... Did? Yeah, I want to cook one. <laughs> Delicious though. There's that little guy again, I guess. One oh two to Santiago. Yeah, that was super good. And I'm not even hungry and it's good. Look at this. Here. After today, we have four more days. I can't believe it's that close. Feels like it's like big hat. Yeah. Except that our legs and feet don't hurt. At the beginning of the Camino, our bodies were tired and we felt like, honestly it felt like to me, 32 days was just so many. And now I'm looking back and it feels like it's been a week for the whole thing. It's, today makes four weeks. Partially because we don't remember most of it. Right, it goes so fast that that's one reason I'm glad we're making these videos because later we'll be able to look back and remember what happened each day because I have no memory of the difference between days. Okay, so look at the scenery. Today is just a staggering day. I didn't properly value why people started in Saria. I thought they just started there because it was 100 kilometers, but it's beautiful. Not more beautiful than the days since Astorga. They've all been great. 
Today's just easier to appreciate because the weather's nice. And so is the path. The weather's nice, the path is nice. And the weather is a little bit unexpectedly nice because We've as of yesterday, this morning was gonna be rainy. Lots and lots of cafes today. We are a big fan of that. Yeah, you can basically stop from there you want. Yeah. We are looking to stop in about uh, two to three kilometers. You can almost dial in when you want to stop versus a lot of days you're kind of like, well, we wanted to stop at 16 and it's 14, but we better take this. Wow. Uh, yeah. Also, now we know we're in Galicia. Sort of decay and wonderful For the most part, that is the first strong it's eucalyptus smell, smell we've had. And I don't think there's a better smell. Well, roses and eucalyptus. And mint. The smell of Asturias is like eucalyptus and wild mint. And Galicia, it's just eucalyptus. Well, and sometimes manure. But we're going with eucalyptus. And what a smell. This looks like some sort of fancy drink, but it's actually a cheese with honey. And then coffee. I'm always having a cheesecake with fresh squeezed the orange juice. We're about two or three kilometers from Porto Marine. Porto Marine has a really interesting history. It's an old town, but years ago the Spanish government decided they were going to build a dam and put in a lake and uh, the lake needed to go where the city of Puerto Marine was. So rock by rock, stone by stone, they moved the town of Puerto Marine up to the side of the hill. So they rebuilt all the buildings further up the hill so they could put a lake where the city was. Cat, cat counts at 118. So they, they moved the whole city up the hill. So right this minute, it feels like we're in Ireland. This reminds me so much of that. Oh, and it feels like it's about to rain. Little bitty walls that we got lost a lot in, except they were more narrow. I think we're about to dip down and then cross the lake over a bridge and then we'll be in Puerto Marine. This is a little tricky. His store goes this way. This descent into Puerto Marina is an interesting one. My dad, sister, and grandfather were raiding the forest in Porto Marine. Our family gathering was with more than 15 people from my dad's side of the family, most of whom live in Galicia. We feasted on bread made only from local ingredients, meat from the area, and several types of Spanish desserts. We were very fascinated by the bread making process in particular. After we had had our share of food and fun, we rode back to Porto Marine with my dad, my grandfather, and Claudia. Once we got back, we had a drink on the patio of our hotel. You can see our progress after 28 days of walking on the blue line across the center of this map. This day was more beautiful than we'd ever imagined, both in views and weather. We saw several friends and a ton of family. Porto Marine looked beautiful, 
but we didn't get to explore it much. We still got to see the old bridge on the way into town. It will be hard to find a town with more interesting history than Puerto Marine. Until we reach Santiago, that is. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.